Hey traders, this is Travis from Profitable Pro with another 52 week review. We are on week 43. It's crazy. I can't believe we made it this far. Well, I can believe it, but it's just like, wow, the community is growing. Uh, we have an addition to the family. Uh, Profitable Pro will now be merging with a great group called FGM. If you're not familiar, first generation millionaires. Um, Great, really excited. I know I've been telling everyone a lot of new things will be coming in the forefront. Well, this is one of the things that was happening in the back end. But um, great team. We have Brill. We have IE. We have Quill. Uh, these gentlemen are really great traders. If you haven't seen any of the other videos in the past, I know Bro has a video from last week, which was great. If you have any uh, questions please join us in our telegram group um, but yeah we just made a video about uh, the basics of Forex so if you want to check that video out please go back to the video library but I just want to say thank you if you do like these videos please subscribe hit the like button or the notification bell because we're gonna have a lot of more videos coming up uh, if you haven't watched any of the other 52 week videos every week consistent consistent gains and that's something that I like to show I like to be transparent uh, last week we actually did well um, let me pull that up I believe we have over 663 pips profit and it was amazing uh, let's see what we have here so much things are going on in the chat group but I believe it was 663 pips I know we took yeah there we go all right so and I'll pull that up Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for not having it up for you. All right, cool. These are all the trades that we're going to go over briefly. Once again, FGM, thank you, guys. I appreciate all your love and support. Uh, news, news, cool little tweets uh, about videos, profits, uh, video, gifts, webinar so much going on uh, oh yeah newsletter ladies and gentlemen newsletter will be coming up so if you do really want to get updated about market uh, fundamentals and technicals at the same time join our newsletter uh, be part of our telegram group and you will get the newsletter uh, ch -ch 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 tweets like to have fun in the, in the group guys here we go all right so for the week of february 3rd through the 8th we traded all great british pound aussie made 250 pips great move uh we also traded great british pound new zealand dollar 175 pips we also traded the euro usd 113 pips and we also had the euro aussie 104 pips euro new zealand dollar 91 pips and sadly we took a loss on the great british pound us dollar 70 pips uh having a grand total of 663 pips i know a few students and community members also take more pips throughout the week my goal for this week will be a uh, thousand pips uh i'm not gonna lie we are down this coming week uh of february not february march 12th monday um yeah uh apologize march 11th this is running into the 12th which is tuesday tuesday we're gonna have a lot of more profits i promise you but uh those are the trades so let's take a look at what we had here all right go back i just love having fun like this is one of the biggest things I love doing throughout the week is doing these 52 week reviews because it's like it's no lying I have to be that guy I have to be the trader that I say I am so all right so this right here was great British pound USD we definitely took this one for a long great trade um, but it really wasn't so we we wanted to go along but the market wanted to do something else so let's review that all right let's pull that up close those there we go all right great bridge pound usd so what we had here was whole mess so the market went up 
came down, came shooting down. And this week, the the goal, what I had last week, sadly happened. And this is actually the trade that took me out this week. Uh, it's kind of weird how if you don't stick to your trading plan, it may bite you in the butt. I, I wanted to curse, but I'm trying not to. But yeah, so it's, I find it kind of ironic that that's what happened this week. And I just back to back two weeks in a row. Great Bridge found USD just punching me in the gut. But we're going to get it together. But yeah, so what happened on the back end? We'll get some fundamental news going on there. Explain what happened on that end. Bear with me while I get my notes up. All right. So as we already know, we had Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. So the sign of the pro Brexit lawmakers are uh, softened on demand on the PM on May, aka Theresa May. If you don't know who the May is, uh, right now they're still negotiating, and because that negotiation is still going on, uh, it just pulled liquidity downward and a bearish move, which I should have kept that in mind. So, with that being said, I'm really looking at the COT report which will be my guiding uh, compass as a trader. And I'm glad that it's back. Um, this Friday, we will have a COT report uh, video uh, later on in the night, maybe around 10, 11 p.m. But yeah, so with that being said, I'm not saying that's an excuse, but that's one of the reasons why I was blindsided. Also with uh, the news, usually the news is really affecting these trades, but uh, as bro would say, is right now it's more about being uh, reactive to the market and going with the flow compared to going with the structure of how the market should flow. And you know what? He's right. He's 100% right. And I love his trading style. So with that being said, let's get into our next trade, which was. Uh, we'll go from top to bottom. I mean, bottom to top. So we'll go to Euro New Zealand dollar. So this was a great trade. Um, we took profit at T1. Unfortunately, we couldn't get to T2. It created this double top. And I apologize for anyone who thought we can get to T, T2. Um, hey, take T1. I even said it in the, the Telegram group. We're going to take profits. So anytime if you see these in the chat group, and I would like to double down on this. If you see T1, T2, doesn't mean, all right, T1, hold until you get to T2. This means take profit, exit the trade, depending on who your broker is, get back into the market and get to the next level. At no means should you be holding till you get to T2. Take your profit, that's what's called TP. Take profit, you wanna take profit here, ladies and gentlemen. So um, that's what happened last week. Great trade, loved it. Um, and right now, as we already know, if you're not looking at the strength index, excuse me, New Zealand dollar, excuse me, New Zealand dollar lost a lot of strength last week compared to all the other G7s. Um, it's slowly trying to get momentum, which is why we had this pull down. And hence why that's what's going on. Like it's pulling up. Uh, it looks like. The safe havens are gaining strength, which is a positive thing um, if you're trading U.S. dollars, Switzerland franc. So Switzerland franc, Japanese yen, New Zealand dollar, Aussie. Those are going to be some power, power movers this week and also in these coming days. I do want to explain this one thing, though. Um, pull the notes back up regarding euro last week. Euro performed the worst um, compared to Great British Pound. It was better than the pound, but it only beat, a, beat out the Great British Pound. So it really doesn't show much um, weight. So it was a horrible week for the Euro and the Great British Pound, which tells me one thing. We can only get a push to the upside coming. Which is a positive thing. 
So, open or close for the Euro New Zealand dollar was 208 pips from week open to week close. Doesn't mean all the other uh, liquidity through the week. I'm just counting open or close for the week candle. Um, and you know what? I'm glad we, we caught the amount of pips that we caught for that. Okay. 91 pips out of the 200 open or close. Really amazing. Um, let's get to Euro AUD. Same situation. If you don't know, if you're trading New Zealand dollar, you should be trading the Aussie as well. They're like uh, Siamese twins. So we took profit, profit really early. I saw that we wasn't getting to this next level. So we I took it to the top on the 6th and waited. Um, man, I'm glad we did because when I saw that double top on Euro New Zealand dollar, I knew that was going to be the catalyst that may push us further down on the next day. So had everyone in our chat group close those trades. We made over 104 pips, but how many pips were week to week? So for all Euro Aussie, that was 105 pips. So for us, that is amazing. We basically caught the whole week right there, ladies and gentlemen, which is amazing, which is amazing. Um, if you want to see alerts, you want to see what's coming up this week that we're looking at, please join the Telegram group. Uh, and we have two. We have the Profitable Pro, the main uh, Telegram group. And then we have this open source Telegram group where it's called FGM, uh, First Generation Millionaires, where everybody's able to talk and communicate, share their ideas, and where we're doing open webinars. And also, we actually do one-on-ones live. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me, Braille, Quill, uh, IE. Uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions at any time. Um, it's just what we do is what we love to do. All right. So that's that for the Euro Aussie. Let's get into Euro USD. Another one. It was just great uh, trading these pairs this week. Um, definitely going to have another great week like this. So uh, Euro USD, we took 113 pips. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Now, on this one, we took profit. Real simple. Got out of it. But we had a different trade for this one. So, let me pull up that trade. Hopefully it's documented. There we go. That was the trade that we took. And that's not the right one. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see. You know what? I'm not gonna waste too much time on it. Uh, when, once I find it, I'll put, I'll post it up. Sorry about that. Uh, so with that being said, let's get into the Great British Pound New Zealand dollar. Cause I know there was a, a bunch of little scalps that we took. Just don't want to waste time on it. All right. So with that being said, we enter on the fifth. Took profit early on the sixth. Closed out, same situation. We had a double top, which made us want to get out early. Great trade. Um, and then same thing with the Great British Pound Aussie pair. Took profit early. Didn't get to TP level due to on the 6th. We knew that, hey, we're going to have some push down on the 7th. So... That double top was coming, so same story. Took profit and got out. Um, if you like these videos, hey, please give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment. 
uh, we're growing, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you're watching these videos, but we weren't at 39 the last week. So let's see what happens this week. Maybe we can get to 50, maybe 60. Uh, but I just want to say thank you. I love you. And keep trading and becoming profitable. Thank you again. Take care.